Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created this all student living part of my hostel management system project. If you are not seen my previous video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, I'm going to create a new JFrame for this lived student part. So let's start. Let me close this application and let me create a new JFrame for that. New JFrame form. Lived lived students. Okay. Let me click on finish. You can see form has been created. Now, first we are increasing sizes to 700 comma 500. And after that, we just need to go to the properties of this form and remove mean max and close button. So I'm just clicking on it and setting the location of this form is to X axis is 480 and the Y axis is 150. Okay. Let me close this. After that, we just need here a button. So let me place it here. Let me go to the properties of this button and setting the icon for this. That one is our close all J frame icon. And let me read this text and remove text from this button. After that, let me place it here in this form. And here we just need a table. So let me place a table here. Okay. And let me increase the size of this table. And let me check out the size of this table uh, form. It's perfect. Now we just need to change the layout to absolute layout. After that, we just need to insert a label. Okay. In this label, we are going to insert a image. That one is a peach background image, PNG image, you can say. And let me place it perfectly on this form. Let me double click on this. Let me remove this label name. After that, you can see our front-end part is almost completed. We also need to connect this page with our home page. So let me move to the home page. Let me move to the design section. Let me double click on this leave the student part. And let me copy this two line of the code here. Let me paste it here. And in this, we just need to change the button name. So we are making it as button six. Okay. And again, we are moving here and we just need to change the table content. So here is First, we need to delete all the rows from it. And after that, we are moving to the column. We just need to uh, increase it to nine. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. One by one, we are just deleting this all first. First one is for the name. And after that, we just next is for the mobile number. And the next one is for father name. Name. Okay, and after that, the next one is for the mother name. Name after mother name, next one is for email. Email after email address, the next one is for other address. After address, the next one is for college name. College name. Okay. After college name, uh, the next one is Aadhaar. That one is a unique number, which is provided by the government. Okay. And after Aadhaar, the next one is a number. That one is our room number. Okay. And uh, we just need to close this. You can see all the names of uh, columns here. After that, we just need to move to the source. And first, we need to import import java dot school dot asterisk after that we just need to import package import project package with connection provider class in it after that we just need to write the code in this uh, here we just need to write let me move little bit up and here we just need to write in this first we default table we just need to table model we just need to call this uh, okay after that, uh, we just need to write model equals to in double uh, in brackets default uh, table model. After that, we just need to write j table one dot get model this one. After that, we just need to not resize automatically. That's why uh, we are just writing g table auto resizable. Okay, mode. This one after that j table one dot auto auto resizable of this one 
after that we just need to write try catch block because we are writing the mysql or you can say database connectivity code and uh, okay in this okay one more thing exception e okay and in this we just need to write connection connection con equals to connection provider class or uh, connection provider class dot get uh, con okay after that we just need to create a statement statement st equals to con dot uh, create statement after that result set rs equals to st dot execute query you can see this one after that select star from student where status status is leaved leaved after that we just need to so uh, while condition we are just writing rs dot next okay and here we just need to write model dot add raw this one and in this we just need to write new object this one okay after that brackets and in this bracket we just need to write rs dot uh, git string and we just need to select this and we just need to write here two first we are displaying the name that's why we are selecting two let me copy this and let me play paste it uh, okay okay let me paste it here two after that we are having one after one we just need to follow three four sorry after four the next one is for five five after five the next one is for six and after six uh, the next one is for the seven after eight the next one is for the eight after eight we just need nine and the nine is last one which having mobile uh, room number sorry and uh, after that we also need to show any message if any error occur in that case we are just need to write in the catch block dot uh, so message okay null and uh, we already connected uh, this leave restraint so let me run this our front one more thing we just need to write the code to close this form so let me double click on this and let me write here set uh, visible we just need to make it as false okay uh, so let me run this run file uh, let me click on leave restraint okay form is not visible okay we did something wrong okay we did not uh, new leaved student we did not uh, call this that's why it's not uh, visible okay let me make it as true let me run it again okay let me clicking on leave the student you can see form is open but we don't did not having in data it means that there is no student who lived so first we need to update the status let me make some student lived one two three four five six seven eight nine zero let me go for the search and let me make it as lived okay let me go for the update successfully updated and let me search for one more student zero one let me go for the search let me make it as lived let me make it updated successfully updated let me close this and let me move to the lived student here you can see the details of the those two students Saurav and Dugaurav mobile number you can see father name and here you can see all the details it means that these students are lived so it means that these students are not present in all student living let me check it out you can see it's working so this is all about the leave the student part of my hostel management system project in the next video i'm going to create a new jframe for this new employees i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you